Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Mark Gregory, along with Paul LaRochelle, Jim Sanders, and John Tu. In this episode, we're going to follow up with our torch operation, and we're going to affect the rescue of a civilian that's impaled on a fence. First, we're going to stabilize our victim. Jimmy is, Jimmy's supporting the victim. John's going to use what we call piggy putty. It's a plumber's putty to provide a heat sink. Wrapping it onto the wrought iron fence material will provide enough protection that Paul's going to be able to make the cuts without creating any type of heat injury to the victim. Once we get the piggy putty in place, we now use a burn blanket to protect the victim. If we didn't have a burn blanket, a turnout coat would be acceptable. Jimmy at this time is also providing psychological first aid to the victim, letting them know that what we're going to be doing. We also have a water source. In this case, a can is ready to be used if we have any uh, issues as far as the heat. Paul lights the torch and he's going to make the necessary cuts. Remember only to cut as much as you need to affect the rescue. And in less than a minute, the victim has been extricated. A point to consider when putting the heat sink is the psychological first aid of the patient. As soon as you go to use any type of torch operation here, the victim is going to insist that they're being burnt. By applying the piggy putty, Paul's going to be able to cut here, and John's going to show with an ungloved hand how there is no transfer of heat, how it's all absorbed by the piggy putty. As you can see here, drilling leads to proficient rescue operations. Proper PPE worn by the rescuers is essential, as well as making sure that psychological needs of our patients are being attended to. I'm Mark Gregory, along with Paul LaRochelle, Jim Sanders, and John Tu, and thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.